Hello and welcome back to Stuart Thomas Media and another episode of Stu's Reviews. So today, we're going to take a look at this. Now, you're probably wondering what's inside this suitcase. Well, some of you may have seen Pulp Fiction, and all I can say is it's not Marcellus Wallace's soul. It is, in fact, the one-by-one -one vinyl record player in a suitcase. This vinyl record player from 1x1 One One supports both headphone and external speaker output. It allows three playback speeds and has two built-in speakers. All of this fits nicely into its slightly bizarre suitcase design. Well, it's a very large box with very little on it. Now, one of the first questions you'll probably ask is, why is a vinyl record player built into a suitcase? And the answer is, I don't know. But hold that thought, and we'll come back to that in a bit. So, this particular one is made from a faux leather in turquoise. You can get it in a few different colours. It's nice and compact, and it's very light. On the top, you can see the speakers that it plays music from. We'll get into that in a moment again. And on the side, we have a bunch of connectors and knobs and dials that do different things that we'll go into in just a second. But that's it for style. So, it's in a suitcase. We've gotten over that. But does it function? Well, let's test it out. So I have here the electric cable-y thing, which I'm going to plug in to the side here. Like so if I open it up, you will see that. There we are. Oh, oh dear. Don't break that. So that is up and in now. There's a light on. If I turn this dial on the side, it starts spinning, as you can see. Now, I've bought a record to play on this. Uh, Disco Fever, 20 original disco hits. So, let's give it a listen to. How to get this out? Well, it's not as easy as CDs, is it? Now, if any of you are record boffins here, and I'm holding this incorrectly, I do apologize. Oh. Two sides. Right. Side do I right, okay, side one. Let's give that a go. Right. So I think I need to stop this and then unhinge this. And then lift it up. Now please, some of you out there are probably screaming, saying no, that's not how you do it. I don't care. Please leave in the comments if you have any suggestions. But let's move on. So I'm gonna put that on there like so. I'm gonna move this across. We'll start the record spinning and then you just lower it down like this. Is that right? Oh, there we are, like that. I think I can speed it up as well. It's like a bloody dance remix. Oh god! Oh god, what are we doing? Turn it off, turn it off. Ah, there we are. Now, it goes quite loud. Not yet, it won't, because this is the end of a song. Hold on, let's change it to a point in the song. Let's put it back on Oogie Boogie. We all like Oogie Boogie, don't we? Here we are. Do we do it? Is that how you do it? I literally have no idea how you choose what track you want. This stuff is archaic, and it goes right through me. Anyway, it's got a volume switch, and it goes quite loud. Oh, 
Okay, the speakers aren't the best in the world, but it does have the built-in input, uh, built-in output for external speakers. So if you have better speakers, you can plug it into that and listen to music through them, which is quite nice. Now, it also has a headphone jack. And this is a bit perplexing. It's built in a suitcase and it has a headphone jack, which to me makes it sound like a Walkman. With that in mind, I've come to my least favorite food establishment to try this feature out. probably asking how much does all of this wondrous machine cost except the disco fever soundtrack well it comes to just 90 pounds which i'll talk about more in the conclusion in just a second but guys if you are looking for discounts on any products you've seen me review check out the stews review club over on patreon on there if you subscribe for one dollar a month which is about 80 pence or 65 indian rupees you can get discounts on loads of different products and i always put down which products you can get access to each month so go and check it out over on patreon now the big question is what do i think well it is a very interesting product I don't quite understand it. I don't really understand why you'd build a vinyl record player into a suitcase. Maybe if you're taking it around to a friend's house and they haven't got a record player and you particularly want to play them Disco Fever, then maybe I can understand you might want to take it with you. However, other than that, I have no idea. It does look vintage, and vintage is a very current aesthetic at the moment. It works, that's all I can really say about it. Whether or not you'll find it interesting, I have no idea. But that's the end for my conclusion. Guys, if you liked the video, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And I'll see you back on Stuart Thomas Media for another episode of Stu's Reviews soon.